It may be a mistake that man, in a state of nature, is more disposed to cruelty than courtesy. Mercy Otis Warren Koki Roberts states in her book Founding Mothers that everyday life for the woman depended on where they lived as much as on what their husbands were up to or how much money they had. All of them had household help with the huge amount of cooking, cleaning, and child raising all women had to do. During this time period, Mercy Otis Warren would be no different. She would also have to keep up with the house and keep up with the children during her time period. But she also had time to be a phenomenal piece for the American Revolution in Boston, the center of the American Revolution. She would be a woman that would correspond with John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, Abigail Adams, and countless others as a piece of the American Revolution that could not be changed. She was the writer, the poet, and the female voice for the American Revolution. As you can tell, I'm very excited for this subject. I love the subject of women in the American Re Revolution. What were they doing? How were they affecting the people around them? Uh, what roles did they play? And Mercy Otis Warren was no different than anybody else, except for that she had an education. She actually was educated uh, with her brothers, uh, not formally, uh, but she could sit there and listen. Uh, they were actually educated by Reverend Jonathan Russell until they went to Harvard. Uh, one of her brothers actually became a lawyer and a stout patriot. She married James Warren, November 14th of 1754, and he was also a very stark patriot. Uh, their house, actually, the Warren House, was frequently a meeting place for political activism. Uh, Warren is best known for her outspoken poems, um, but also her prized history, the rise, progress, and termination of the American Revolution. Actually, uh, Thomas Jefferson is actually known as saying that uh, all of the heads of his department uh, were going to be given this book, given this series of books. Uh, she had several correspondence with him, especially later uh, while he was president. This is while he was president that she was writing this and then uh, publishing it to give it to him. Uh, another one of her writings that I was very interested in was a play that she wrote uh, and one of the main villains uh, is actually kind of portrayed as Thomas Hutchinson and I said kind of it is uh, to everybody at that time it was Thomas Hutchinson that she was given uh, her father didn't like him her, her brother her husband obviously this is a man that is very hated uh, in this patriot culture, especially for his uh, devotion for Britain as the appointed, appointed royal governor. She actually writes, uh, and this is by Roberts again, that she set the blank verse play on a fictional kingdom of Serbia, uh, where she gave the villain, the Hutchinson character, uh, lines for tooting to reveal his true intentions, which at the very end says, destroy their boasted rights and make them slaves. Uh, and this is what she believed that he was doing during this time period. Uh, she would go on to be just as influential as uh, Common Sense. She would post many, uh, publish many poems, books, uh, she was especially a poet, uh, and she would go ahead and publish these in a newspaper, uh, sometimes anonymously, and then towards the end of her life, she would actually pu uh, publish these with her name. Uh, one of her 
poems is actually a oh, very beautiful love this one uh, at the very it's basically going about how females do have an influence uh, they have an influence on their husbands they have an influence on kings uh, how the queen has influence over the king how wives mistresses uh, are not useless things uh, so to kind of give women a boost of you can actually do something at this time period and so this is very uh, a very good time for her as a writer to be that like i said that female voice um i have several books here i have uh revolutionary mothers by carol birkins uh like i said cookie roberts Founding Mothers, uh, another one of Ladies of Liberty. This is more towards after the American Revolution. Uh, this is kind of during the American Revolution. Uh, it has people like Mercy Otis Warren, Abigail Adams, uh, Deborah Reed Franklin, uh, Martha Washington, Phyllis Wheatley is actually mentioned in here as well, several women. Uh, and it's this is not different. So I uh, really enjoyed this video. Uh, I also posted a longer video uh, that I shot before. Uh, as I said, I'm very excited about this. So uh, please enjoy and have a great day.